Winnie, do you know what time it is? Beautiful girl, do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Huh? Is that why you got up in the seat? Oh, is that what we're doing? Oh, is that what we're doing? Oh, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing, pretty girl? Oh yeah, you love the belly rubs, don't you? Yes, you do. Well, it's not that time though. You gotta get up. Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Well, come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, you probably saw the thumbnail and that was what made you click on it. And no, it isn't clickbait, uh-uh. Today, I've got some paper lunch sacks that I am DIYing with. This is a DIY that you are gonna love. It has a rustic twist to it that I am so excited about. And I think this is one you are absolutely gonna love. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly. Uh, I can't wait. So I'm just gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some DIYing on a budget with, yeah, lunch paper sacks. Cause why not? Because we can. And that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. For this DIY, you don't need brand name lunch bags. Is there such a thing? Store brand is gonna get the job done. I'm using great value. You're getting 100 for 288, which is gonna make a lot of this DIY. You're gonna need eight of those 100 bags for this easy DIY. Down the center of it, you're gonna place some hot glue. When you place that hot glue, you don't wanna make it too wide. You just kinda of wanna to stick to the center of the bag. You're gonna place it there. You're gonna jump over to the bottom and place them on the bottom. You don't wanna connect the bottom of the bag to the side of the bag because you want to have the capability of the bag still opening, separating. So here you'll see I stop and then I put it on the bottom. You wanna do that to all eight bags. Here at the top of the bag in the center, I'm gonna angle down my cut, but to get it even, I'm gonna take a ruler and measure down two and a half inches so I get those angles pretty even. Well, yeah, really even, not pretty even. I want them really even. So I'm just gonna place a little mark there and I'm gonna cut from the center down to the markings that I made with my pencil on each side. And you may wanna get some heavy dutier, heavy dutier? more heavy duty, yeah, more heavy duty scissors out for this because you're cutting through eight paper sacks. And so it is a bit on the thicker side. And so, yeah, I did pull out my good scissors to get this job done. And you do wanna make those cuts as even as you can on both sides. Moving on to the side of the bag here, we're gonna cut a couple of notches out. When you cut that first notch out, you're gonna wanna do it at least a half an inch from the top of the bag where we cut down at that angle. And your notches don't need to be super big. You don't want them to go to the center of the bag. You just wanna cut them out just like you see I did here. Then we're gonna rotate that bag and on the opposite side, do the same thing. This is what you should be left with. And here at the top, I'm gonna take some of this Dollar Tree Baker's Twine. It's a woven Baker's Twine, and I think it's perfect for this. I'm gonna hot glue it to the point here on one side, and this is going to be our hanger. Then just grabbing these bottom pieces here on each side, if I go ahead and open this up, would you look at what we have just made by attaching those two ends 
And to attach them, I find that if you just take a bit of hot glue and place it on the bottom of the sack there that folds up, you can connect the two bottoms, I, I guess, of each sack on both sides. And this is gonna close up our snowflake. Yeah, so I did the other side, kind of flipped it over. I'm gonna add some to the bottom flap there and then just attach it to that bag there. Then place one strip of glue along the length of the snowflake bag there, closing it up where the hanger is. And now look at that. We have got an amazing, rustic, gigantic snowflake. Now what's great about this is there's a couple of different sizes of lunch bags. So you can make an even bigger one if you wanted to. But look at how amazing this looks. I love this. I put one on each side of my village just because I had these hangers already up there and I thought that they would be the perfect finishing touch and add that rustic charm to my entryway. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Madeline O'Reilly who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY gingerbread house made from the wood plaques at Dollar Tree. Madeline, I am loving your recreation. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Yeah, I know, right? Snowflakes, but they're rustic because they're brown. I love it. This screams everything that I love. And I think it was a fun and easy DIY with an outcome that really, you know what I'm gonna say, packs a punch. I hope you all enjoyed today's snowflakes made out of, yeah, lunch paper sacks. I'm sure you've got some, if you've got kids in school, grab some out, do this DIY. It's fun, get the kids involved. If you're looking for more DIY inspiration, well, guess what? I've got you covered. You can go ahead and click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I sure as heck am. Bye for now, everybody.